Shockwave. Amy, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, but we need to protect the Coco. I have to make sure they're safe. And they might know something we don't. If anyone can learn something from them, it'll be you. I'm counting on you, Amy. should be on the emeralds, not Sonic. That shockwave created a massive amount of electrical noise. It's meaningless data that's been compressed and deconstructed, but it will be especially effective against those without a corporeal form. Oh, interesting. Why do you sound so excited? What are you planning? Oh, as a scientific genius, analyzing what I see and then explaining it come as naturally as breathing. Whatever you say. At least keep cooperating until we take down the enemy. of the ancients and their souls if they hold data that hasn't been uploaded to cyberspace yet maybe maybe that could be the key wow
you're looking for Sonic, he's not here. You'd better not be up to no good just because Sonic's busy. <laughs> I, the greatest scientific genius, up to no good. Don't mistake me for some small-time thug who commits crimes on a mere whim. Oh, what should I mistake you for then?
I'll find the emeralds before you. Wait, Knuckles. Do you have any tips on finding emeralds? Tips? Just dig everywhere until you find them. That's all there is to it. I have a hammer, not a shovel. Uh, that wasn't very helpful. Looks like I'll need to find them my own way. Exploring Kronos Island with Sonic, I noticed lights would appear on the ground or on the trunks of the trees at night. What was up with that? You must be talking about the phantom lights. Cyberspace is always filled with a vast amount of data, but sometimes it overflows through the portals. That data is the faint thoughts of the ancients, appearing in the real world as light. So they're thoughts without shape, like the Coco. Why do they only appear at night? They're usually in hiding, for fear of the being that destroyed them. And when the moon rises, they feel safe enough to come out. <laughs> Poor little things. They've already lost their bodies, yet they're still afraid of being destroyed.
saw a mark on the pyramid wall. It was the same mark I saw in the sky when I said goodbye to the Coco. What could it mean? There are no definite records in the cyberspace archives, but it appears the ancients worshipped it as the symbol of a god. They believed in a god even with all of this amazing technology? I didn't expect that. Faith is an excellent way to shape a group's sense of kinship. However, the markings in the sky are a clear and observable phenomenon and cannot be the manifestation of a miracle. Perhaps the god of the ancients depicted by the wall markings still exists out there today. to us? I don't know for sure, but I hope they will. <laughs> I've only seen them get scared and run away. I've seen how strongly they feel for others, even though they look differently now. Well, for the shot. I don't think the enemy will expect the Coco to do anything. no sign of any animals on this island. I would expect some to be around in a place so full of nature. This isn't your doing, is it? Don't blame me for that. According to the records in cyberspace, all of the native creatures were transported to another island during the battle that led to the extinction of the ancients. With no one to return the creatures, the island's ecosystem suffered major disruption. Only a few small insects survived. The Ancients must have been fully committed to the battle to pull off such a large-scale transportation plan. Thanks for the help, Amy. I would have been in real trouble without you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I told you I'm not just gonna sit around and wait. Glad to know you have my back. I'm counting on you to find those emeralds. Island too. Could it be an important clue left by the Coco? No, it's nothing more than a traditional structure left by the ancients. They competed to see who could stack stones higher without them falling over. The winner was determined not just by the height, but the difficulty and aesthetic beauty of their stack. It was so popular that they even had annual competitions. There was a plethora of data in cyberspace about the rules and results of these competitions. It may be insignificant to us now, but it was important to the ancients. 
why were they so important to them? I may have knocked some over while looking for the emeralds. There's no need to concern yourself about that. According to the records, the ancients were delighted when the towers were knocked over, because they could stack them back up again. Island. What did the ancients use it for? This was an observation tower. Its main function was to send out radio signals to detect the enemy hunting them down from space. Once the enemy's presence was detected, the defense systems on the Starfall Islands were automatically triggered. Do you recall the tower on Rhea Island? This is similar. The tower here on Oranos Island has already been activated. The great threat that destroyed the Ancients is near.
was that upside-down pyramid thing on Kronos Island? According to the information I've gathered in cyberspace, it's a terminal created by the Ancients to get in and out of their spaceships. When they first arrived on this planet, they used their spaceship as a base of operations. They needed time to investigate whether the islands were habitable. They built a terminal to travel back and forth between the island and their ships. There were terminals built on other islands, but they were different in design. They've ceased to function. All that remains of the terminals is the wreckage of the elevators that were used for boarding. If you're curious, go and find the remains. But only if you're able to sort out the situation here first, that is. The Coco don't seem to be feeling so good. They're in much worse shape than us. Maybe it's because they're so much smaller. How are you feeling, Tails? The shockwave took a lot out of me, but I'm fine now. That disturbance from the sky is only getting more intense. Maybe our time limit is almost up. Got it. Let's get back to finding the emeralds once we make sure the Coco are safe. We're running out of time. Knuckles needs to hurry. Thanks for handling things, Amy. I'll take it from here. Uh, 
Well, too bad. They need me. I won't give up. Hey, kid. Focus. We aren't done yet. I know. I'm sorry. It's just... This was my big moment to prove myself. But I don't think I can do it. Then ask for help. Heck, even Sonic asked us to pick up his slack this time. What do you need me to do? I think our opponent has repurposed the constructs to bolster the distortion's defensive measures. In other words, keep smashing things and I can start accessing cyberspace again. I like the direct approach. You can count on me.